if we needed to edit our data source. To do that, we're going to just start the mail merge right here. Select the recipients, I would say use the existing list, and then here I would be able to edit that. I'm going to use my speech data source, and then I can edit my recipient list from here. If I needed to make a change to this one, I needed this to be something different from Columbia Hospital, I can make that change inside there. Or if I needed to change my columns, then I can do the same thing here. I can add or delete a field, etc. Sometimes you may want to um, sort them particular in a particular way. For example, you may want to sort by the city so that the city is in alphabetical order. You may want to sort by or by the company name or by their last name and you can do that as well. So you would click, let's say if I want to sort by last name, then I can sort in ascending or descending so that it would go in that particular order or if I wanted to sort by. If you wanted to sort by more than one, then you can click on sort here and you can sort by different things and then within each state you would want to sort by uh, their city and then within each city we can sort by their last name and so forth. Be able to sort by multiple fields. If you wanted to filter it would be very similar to the same same situation there. You could filter, let's say for example, if you wanted to only see the things that occurred in a particular state, you would want the state to be equal to, for example, Illinois, and that would only show those people who were in Illinois, which would be Mr. Joseph Zuber.